and welcome back. My next guest has been helping people with hair loss for more than 20 years. In fact, she travels the country and world volunteering her time to educate women about hair loss and the use of a revolutionary 3D printing technology that is bringing hope to so many people suffering from hair loss. Welcome, Danielle Marzella Grillo, owner of Transitions Hair Solutions, and her client, Diane Mastromatto. Welcome. Thank you for Thank having, you. Me. For having <laughs> me. You look beautiful. By the both Thank you look beautiful. Thank you. Um, CNC. Mm -hmm. Describe to us what CNC stands for and what do they use uh, for this great breaking technology? Uh, the CNC, it's actually a hair and scalp prosthetic. Okay. Uh, the CNC means um, it's natural scalp contact. So think of an eye contact. Okay. How it's shaped to your eye. All right. Uh, the CNC is made with a 3D technology once uh, all the precise measurements have been done, mm -hmm. all the specifications have been sent to the factory in Bologna, Italy. Okay. Um, a 3D version of the client patient's head is produced, which mm -hmm. then the medical grade material is started to, uh, that's how they start building the actual prosthetic. It's literally made on the so they take they take a mold of it, right? A client we, comes in. Yes, we you do that. Comes mm -hmm. into your studios. Mm -hmm. You take an actual mold of the client's head, yes. and then that is sent over to to Bologna, right? Yes. In Italy, where mm -hmm. it's the where it's made. Now I, I watched the video. Mm -hmm. I think it was an amazing um, thing to look at to watch. Yes. I didn't. It was like, like they actually do it hand stitch. Is that is that correct? It's actually yes, hand injected uh -huh. um, by a human being. By <laughs> a human being. Yeah, right? it's all. <laughs> oh, thank God. Right? All natural. Uh, no, there's no uh, no machine portion uh, of the hair being put in. It's all done by hand. Okay. And it's all uh, natural, virgin, unprocessed human hair. Okay. So Diane, how how did you find out about CNC and and what what was your story? Tell us, please. Actually, I started four years ago uh -huh. um, losing my hair after immense stress. We had a death in the family. I'm sorry to hear um, that. Thank you. At that point, I had visited a dermatologist. I was given a diagnosis of telogen effluvium. Long mm. story short, six months later, I had a spot on my scalp that turned out to be skin cancer that grew down to my skull membrane. Oh my I had surgery to remove it. I lost a small section of my scalp. They stretched my skin from behind and closed me, stapled me shut. Mm. Um, that was that journey. My hair loss never stopped. Since then, I've probably so been given, losing hair. continued, I still do. Um, at that point, I had been given about eight different diagnoses. They took a scalp biopsy, which right. showed alopecia areata. I don't clinically present that. I clinically present androgenetic alopecia, which does not run in my family. No female in my family has it. I understand. Um, they're not clear yet, really, as to what the hair loss is coming from. Okay. The good news is I had gone to other salons, which were great. Right. For me, CNC was my answer. It put me back to being a whole human being. I shower, sleep. So you do Everything. 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 I everything. wake up with bedhead just like <laughs> everybody else. Well, me too, you know. Uh, you know I, I live a normal life. I wake up with bedhead. I shower. Uh -huh. I, I shampoo it, dry it, right. style it. My husband can run his fingers through my hair. Wow. It, yes, it put me back to a place mentally of mm. being a whole person again because the journey is amazing, right? It's an It takes immense mental stamina. So Danielle, how, how did you get involved with this? Was it something you always wanted to do or? I, I initially I had started, I was working in a <clears throat> traditional hair salon okay. many, many years ago. Many moons ago. <laughs> and uh, I, then I, I don't know, I just wanted to do, I felt like I needed to do something more. I just wanted to. You wanted to help people out, I right? really, really did. I, I just had a, I just had a passion and a calling for helping women. We see a lot of women that will come into the salon that had thinning hair and I said, there's gotta be something. So you're like a, um, a psychiatrist or a psychologist, or, or some, <laughs> right? Because yeah. you're not only helping them physically, right. but mentally as well, right? You do help them. I mean, I can just see you, you're glowing. Uh -huh. You're absolutely we, glowing. Uh, I just, will tell you, when right. I walked into Danielle's studio and she came out and I watched the video uh -huh. of this system, I just looked at her and I, I just knew, I just knew I was home. Right. This was going to be my home. Mm. This was my solution. So what, what, why was this the right decision for you? Had you given up all hope, basically? Is this something that you wanted to really overcome? Yes, yes. It was a personal thing, right, to overcome yes. it? Yes, I mean, I had tried other things, and, and they were great. I mean, wow. there's other options, but for me, this 
put me back to a, a lifestyle of uh -huh. living life just completely like any other woman would live. Right. You know? It, wow. Amazing, amazing. Danielle, um... And if you can look like this after it's all said and done... <laughs> can, and you, you said you can shower, you can, you can do everything, right? I do right? everything. Everything. I, amazing. I, I take a really uh, intense spin class. Right. Amazing support system Oof. there. And so, I sweat profusely. Well, me too. I, I'm from a pig. I don't want to get into it. But anyway, I sweat a lot, but that's probably have it. What separates CNC from other things? Are there, are there other companies that do the same, same thing? Are there, they... there are other uh, hair replacement options. And again, like you know, Diane said, there's not that there's anything wrong with that. Right. They're just, uh, it's comparing two completely different things. Okay. When you're comparing a hair and scalp prosthetic that's made with the 3D technology with the right. virgin hair to something that, that it's not made with the technology and it maybe it has uh, processed hair or or something. It's not that another thing mm -hmm. would be bad. It's just that it's uh, everything has its purpose, and it depends on what the the client or patient is looking for okay. in their lifestyle and their hairstyle, mm -hmm. their texture of hair. Everything is you, this is this for everybody. Uh, it could it could be for every anyone that has any type of uh, hair loss or thinning problem. Okay. Um, it, it could be because it's not a one size fits all. Right. Because it is so uh, custom, so everything about it is so personal right. to the fit, to the the color, to right, the right. strands and the texture of the hair. Everything is Amazing. so ultimately personal, personal to each individual. Amazing guys, thank you so much. Beautiful both of you. Thank you so yeah, much. Great product. Thank okay, you. guys, still ahead from hair loss to tech neck. What is it and how can we avoid it? Find out next when Healthy Lifestyle returns after the break. And I'm losing my voice.